take it in motion because you can work more than three hours. You pay in their school and send it out. Uh, you pay in their school and keep sending it out and having that permission to send it to That is not a possible activity. That's a big thing. The government is not allowed to actually get that. And it's paying in their own terms. Any suggestion to change the thinking balance will need to be considered for the whole of the sector and not the school and other schools. And, and I suggested in the report that the new funding model will be introduced only in 2016. So actually, look at changing the state without having a closing period of financial assistance to look at. Um, how could you actually do things in the future and start to make it? So there's a whole issue there about the funding balance. It's a much, much bigger issue than the um, just changing at this point. And also just changing the following day because you're going to start to change the um, I've not looked at the other one in the previous in the particular episode in the because we're actually not too late to change. We're saying keep the day open as it has to be up to it. So there's been a reason to come to the other one in the previous However, um, I don't think you can demonstrate in the neighborhood how and what things are going to be considered in the implementation of the new process. Linda, we couldn't be too sensitive to what we do. Stating the obvious, we already have two special schools for secondary age children with complex social difficulties, including the provision of children for families with equal learning i.e. Foxfield and North Carolina. Both schools have good uh, offset inspection with African and Beecher. So we already have the facility within the facility to cope with the children who are under 19. Um, I also feel that the transition arrangements for children can occur from the school of primary school to the age of these two. Are very comprehensive. I've been through this in detail. We have to the arrangements to be read, and they're pretty comprehensive. Um, at the moment, the ones that are the main focus of this proposal, the two to nine to the two and nine to the school, I haven't found any evidence that there's any support in terms of any other visitor to the other school. Um, we don't support at all the provision. The <coughs> So I can't find evidence to suggest that a sufficient number of parents would wish to opt for a specialised PNLD to command the provision. And if we looked at the report, we would say that the young children would go on to the other school as well. So it is correct in saying that there are some people in the special schools across the country. And um, some of them are very successful. But they actually provide the children and people exhibiting a wide range of needs from severe to moderate learning difficulties and including children with autism, hearing impairments and visual impairments and behaviours and emotional needs. The school is viable because of the limited and because of the diversity we have catered for. So um, a two to a two to nineteen piano piano D school, which is what you're talking about, would be very beneficial. In, in the um, and I won't go out of all this going to go over a But actually, looking at it, would um, be stabilized, <coughs> could be stabilized for very passing standards. If parents' choices were actually influenced, think about the possibility of a child not going to come to the level, then children may decide to go to the in the two and not to the concept. So you have resources in both these schools to accommodate the children with children, which will no longer be used, which has its yes, um, is not the main initiative to the other in place. Think of a, a lack of broad support for creation of these two and nine schools. I think it would be a very, very important